the evening church. It is a great day to be alive. I can say with the psalmist, it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening. Accompanied by a ten-stringed instrument, a harp, and the melody of a lair. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. Oh, Lord, what great works you do. Bless the name of Jesus. It is good to see you in the house of the Lord another time. And for those of you who are joining online, it is night four of our Pentecost week services. We are celebrating Pentecost under the theme, the comforter has come. The comforter has come as we get into tonight's service. I now invite the praise and worship team to come and lead us into a time of consecration. Hallelujah. Can we just stand on our feet, lift our hands, and just give our praise unto God. Hallelujah. We are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So just help us to sing this song. Only you are holy. Only you are worthy. Only There's no one else like you who is faithful and true. And all my love, my heart, my life is a testimony. If you believe that, sing that out. Only you are, you are holy. Only you are worthy. Only you are worthy. And only you are wonderful. Only you are wonderful. Because there's no one else. There's no one else like you who is faithful, who is faithful and virtue. Not my love, all my love, my heart, my life is a testimony. time only you are only you are holy only you are worthy only you are worthy and only you are one only you are wonderful come on lift it up for there's no one else cause there's no Our testimonies only you, only you are holy. Sing, only you are holy, only you are holy. Only you are holy, only you are holy. Like 
last time say only you are worthy. come on give God a praise hallelujah hallelujah only he is worthy only he is holy because we serve a holy God because we serve a worthy God we now invite Sister Marian Palmer to come and address this worthy God, this holy God, on our behalf. Immediately following Sister Palmer, who is coming with the opening prayer, will be Sister Cherise Prendergast, who will read for us the night's scripture. Praise the Lord. Good night, everyone. Let us bow our hearts in prayer. Father, we exalt you. We worship you. We honor you and we lift you up. We acknowledge that only you are worthy. We acknowledge almighty God that only you are holy. So we come before a holy God. Lord, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we have fallen short of your glory. But even now, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for your cleansing, Lord God. We want to thank you for your faithfulness. For your mercies are new every morning. We want to thank you, Lord God, for your protection throughout the course of the day. We want to thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be in your house tonight. We exalt you. We worship you. We praise you. Lord God, so many people have left their homes and have not returned. Some are in the hospital. So many things have happened to so many persons throughout the course of the day. But you have been faithful, Lord. You have kept your children. Lord, you have watched over us. You have protected us. You have covered us, Lord God. Oh God, dangers that we didn't even see and know exist. But Lord God, you send your angels an assignment, Lord, to protect and to cover and to watch over us. And as we come tonight, Lord God, we come into your house. Lord God, your word said your house shall be called a house of prayer. And because it is called a house of prayer, it's also a house of healing. It is also a house of deliverance. Hallelujah. It's also a house of breakthrough. And whatever we want, God Almighty, it is here for us tonight. I pray, Almighty God, that you will pour out on us in a very special way. We thank you, Lord God, for the last three nights that you have been pouring out. You have been ministering to us, Lord God. You have enlightened us, Lord God, and we have a better understanding of who we are, God Almighty, and what the Holy Ghost comes to do with within us to empower us for service and we come tonight again Lord God for you to minister to us for you to speak to us Lord God Almighty in the name of Jesus I pray God Almighty that God you will pour out again another time Lord that you will use your man servant Lord God Almighty to speak to us Lord God speak to us Lord and cause us to hear what you have to say Lord is not what we want to hear but what you have to say to purge us to cleanse us Lord God and as we humble our hearts before you I pray God that you will come alongside us tonight Lord God and you will move in a very special way Lord we pray for a new anointing fresh anointing fresh touch upon your people Lord God so the faces differ so does the need and you know every need that is here tonight God so we pray God as we open open up our hearts and we open up our spirits and we turn our face towards you Lord you will turn your hands towards us Lord and you will just breathe upon us that you will touch us Lord we commit this service into your hands Lord this is your space this is your place we are your people Lord you said in the psalmist David we are your people and the sheep of your pastor Lord God you know how to give good gifts to your children so as we come Lord God and we come with expectation expectancy in our hearts and we look to you God we pray that you will just breathe upon us that you will minister to us Lord God that you will meet us at the point of our needs oh breath of God we pray that you will just breathe upon us fresh wind fresh breath new anointing that you will pour out on us Lord God hallelujah hallelujah we pray God almighty that you will tabernacle with us Lord God 
that you will show up in a very special way, Lord God. And you will do what only you can do, Lord. The extraordinary, the unexpected. Lord, we look to you. Hallelujah. You are our God and you are our Father. And so we come to you. And you said if we ask anything in your name, Lord God, you will grant it unto us. So we come and we ask in your name. We ask for a new anointing. We ask for a new filling. We ask for a new touch. We ask for healing. We ask for deliverance tonight, God, in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, we pray that angels will be an assignment, God Almighty, because we know when the children of God gather, the enemy comes to. We come against every spirit, Lord, every spirit of fear, every spirit of doubt, Lord God, every spirit that come to block the mind of your people. We come against it in the name of Jesus, and we ask for freedom, God, full freedom of worship, Lord God, that we will lift our hands and we will praise you from our hearts, Lord. We will open up our spirits to you, God Almighty, so that you will pour in into us tonight. Lord, we thank you for what you have been doing. We thank you for what you're about to do and what you will continue to do, God Almighty, among your people tonight. We give you praise. We give you glory. We exalt you, God Almighty. You are worthy to be praised. We lift you up. We honor you. We worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no God like you, Jehovah. So we ask you to reign, God Almighty. King of glory, reign on us tonight, Lord. And pour out on us, Lord God, your anointing, O oh God, upon your people. We look to you tonight and we thank you. And we give you praise and we give you glory. Whatever we fail of asking God, do not fail to grant it unto us, your children. As we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' holy name. Good night, church. The scripture readings from Acts 2, verses 1 to 13, and it reads, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. And when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled saying unto one another, Behold, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, where in which we were born? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea, Cappadocia, in Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in parts of Libya, about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews, and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking, saying, These men are full of new wine. This is the word of the Lord. We honor by saying, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God indeed. Is there anyone here tonight who desires that new wine? If you desire that new wine, just lift your hand up to the Lord and tell him that you desire new wine. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. As we continue in tonight's service, I'm going to invite the praise team to come back and lead us in the singing of the theme song for Pentecost week. The comforter has come. That same comforter that made all of these individuals think that these individuals were drunk. Ooh. 
Oh, spread the tide and drown Wherever man is found Wherever human hearts And human woes about Let every Christian tongue Proclaim the joyful sound The Comforter has come The Comforter has come The Comforter has come The Holy Ghost from heaven The Lord has promised given Oh, spread the tidings round Wherever man is found The Comforter The long night is past, the morning breaks at last, and hush the dreadful wail and fury of the blast. As o'er the golden hills, the day advances fast, the comforter. Come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father's promise given. Oh, spread the tidings round, wherever man is found, the Comforter has come. Oh, though the King of Kings, with healing in his wings, to every captive soul, a full deliverance brings And through the vacant cells The song of triumph rings The Comforter has come The Comforter, the Comforter has come The Comforter has come The Holy Ghost from heaven The Father's promise given Oh, spread the tidings round Wherever man is found The Comforter has come Oh, boundless love divine Oh, shall this song of mine To wandering mortals tell The matchless grace divine That I, a child of hell Should in his image shine The Comforter has come The Comforter, the Comforter has come The Comforter has come The Holy Ghost from heaven The Father's promise given Who spread the tidings round Wherever man is found The Comforter come the holy ghost from heaven the father's promise given who oh, spread the tidings round wherever man is found the comforter has come come on lift up our praise hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. The Comforter has indeed come. Bless the name of Jesus. You may be seated. So the Bible speaks of the Holy Spirit as new wine. So new wine was spoken of by these individuals in the book of Acts who said that these people are drunk with new wine. That's not the new wine, you know. But the Bible speaks of the Holy Spirit as being new wine. Do note. So it's time for some testimonies. And just before I invite you to come and share these testimonies, I am going to welcome you. It's so good to have you in the house of the Lord another time for those of you who are coming back. If you were here on Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and you're here again tonight, can you just wave your hand? Okay, pastor has been here every night. 
and a few other persons. Bless God for you. If this is your first night, if it's your second night, if it's your third night, we welcome you in the house of the Lord. It's such a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. And for the specific reason that we are here, it is even a greater, a greater um, reason for us to be here. So I just bless the name of the Lord. Now, is there anyone visiting with us? You're here for the very first time. Never been to 3B Escarpment Road before. Somebody invited you because they were obeying the instruction we received earlier in the week. Anyone like that? I almost saw a hand in them, but I know that person is not a visitor. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. Can you just stand so everyone can see you? It's so nice to have you, and you were here so early. Thank you for coming, and I trust that you will not leave here disappointed, whatever you came for, I pray that the Lord will exceed your expectations. God bless you. If there's anyone who is visiting with us online, we welcome you and we trust that you will indeed have more at the end of tonight's service than you came for as well. I want to greet our pastor who is here with us and his family. Can you please welcome the bishop? Bless the name of the Lord. I also want to make mention of the hardworking members of the church. I want to welcome the members of the band. God bless you. The members of the praise and worship team. Most of them look like they are coming straight out of work. Bless the Lord. You will not be disappointed. God is no man's debtor. And for the rest of you who are here tonight and you are on duty, the members of the hospitality team, the ushers, the members of the tech team, if there's anyone I'm missing out, members of the altar workers team, it is so good. Sister Pinock, it is so good to have you. Bless the name of the Lord. And you know, there's a special person in our midst tonight, our speaker for tonight, Reverend Stanley Ivey. Sir? It's good to have you with us another time. And we look forward to what the Lord will say through you in a little while. Now, is there anyone who is not feeling welcomed? All right, wonderful. So we can move on. Ashley, that smile is very bright. Clearly, you feel welcome. So yes, so I really wanted to get to the testimony section. And here we are. And I'm going to start us off tonight so we don't have a lull. So while I am sharing my testimony or a part of my testimony, you can just prepare to come. Sister Kate, and I know you're ready with the microphone. You have it in hand. So last year on a Wednesday night, the fourth night of Pentecost week, I received the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, a little friend of mine and I had a little plan so we decided that we were not coming to the altar that night because it looked at like the altar now work for we. Right, Sister Cadian? Yes. So I was on this side and she was on that side. I don't know what we were doing. Like we were trying to sandwich the congregation or something. But that was the plan. And as the speaker for tonight spoke, I just listened and I listened and I listened. But I still didn't plan to come to the altar, sir. Because apparently not everybody is going to be filled at the altar. And I thought maybe just, maybe just, maybe I was one of those persons who needed to be elsewhere. Okay. So I was over there and you, 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 you taught. Like you really taught, as you always do. And I listened more than I normally listened. And while I was there, not quite sure I felt like I was disobedient. Because I thought I was doing a good thing. I'm just trying another strategy because the altar strategy never worked before. As I stood there and the altar call was made, I saw some persons move towards the altar, but I still stood there and I saw the bishop pacing. You know how he normally paces from his seat here to the door and back, but he has a way of pacing and scanning the congregation even when he you know, it kind of looked like it's a normal thing, but he scans the congregation, and I know he was looking in my direction. But I wasn't really paying attention to the bishop's eyes. I was just holding my little space over in that corner. But then the Lord decided to melt my heart in a certain way by telling Sister Cadian to come to the altar. Now, this is the person who I had this arrangement with. None of us coming to the altar tonight. 
and I saw her moving towards the altar. And the moment I saw her moving, like, I just, that resolve to stay in that corner just left me. And I found myself walking towards the altar. Now, what happened that night at the altar was a long time coming. But the Lord knew that, you know, something was here at the altar for me that night. And so he decided to use Cadian to bring me to the altar that night. And I bless the name of the Lord so that the persons who were interceding on my behalf, that their prayers never went in vain, including the one who told me that if I didn't come to the altar, they were going to come for me. Right, Sister Pinock? So I give God thanks. So even though today is not the 8th of June, it is my anniversary. And I celebrate my anniversary in the name of Jesus. I don't know if there's anyone else here who has an anniversary like mine. But whatever your testimony is tonight, I invite you to come and share to the glory of our risen King. I would like you to encourage them with a little song, praise and worship team. I miss what a wonderful feeling is. My happy soul, he's mine. He's protecting me from the heat and gold. I do whatsoever he bids me. I will always do. I know my Redeemer will lead me safely true. I miss, I miss what a wonderful feeling in my happy soul. He's mine. He's protecting me from the heat and cold. I'll do whatsoever he bids me. I will always do. I know my Redeemer will lead me safely through. Hallelujah. Good night, church. So, um, well, tonight I'm just rejoicing, rejoicing in God, rejoicing in the God of my salvation. And even as Sister Jeanette was talking about just, you know, celebrating her receiving the Holy Spirit. And I'm just rejoicing as well. This evening I was getting ready and I was just thinking to myself that, you know, the Holy Spirit has been just the greatest gift. To me, I mean, scripture speaks of the Holy Spirit as a gift. And I was just telling God thanks because, I mean, he is the greatest gift. And I know that there's no other gift that anyone could be, would be able to give me that would compare to the Holy Spirit. And I'm just grateful for the work of God in my life. And uh, I mean, sometimes we think that because we don't, we don't have what we call maybe a big testimony, but I don't know any testimony or anything that I could be able to, to tell about bigger than the fact that Jesus is mine, as the old folks say, just to be grateful and to testify and to tell the world that Jesus is mine and I'm rejoicing in him. You know, the Holy Spirit has been my comforter. He's been my peace. He's been the source of my joy, my contentment. He's been everything. And you know, there are so many details of how God has just been keeping me and helping me, but the overarching theme, the overarching thing is that God has been good, that Jesus is mine, and that that's more than enough to testify about and to tell about. So I'm just giving God thanks. Hallelujah. Please come with your testimony. Bless God. I'll, I'll go. Greetings, brethren. Greetings, brethren. Greetings, greetings. Bless you. Bless you. Um, so it, it's really good to be in God's house today. Um, on, on Sunday, I was watching online. I, I couldn't make it. And I was feeling so sad that I couldn't be in the house of God. Almost a little bit angry. Um, and I said that, you know, whenever I come sometime this week, I need to give a testimony. And that has always been somewhat my stance whenever I'm faced with, um, I call it trials, tribulation, delays, any kind of hiccup. And I feel that the, the devil has something to do with it. I say that, you know what, I'm going to come back stronger. So I'm going to give my testimony tonight. I was sharing with my wife not too long ago that, <laughs> um, that 
I, I expect almost that as I go through life that I'll meet upon problems. So whenever I meet upon problems, I am not surprised because I understand who I am, whose I am, and the journey I'm on. So I expect the fight. And I was thinking that there's another way to look at it. And the other way is that I have a lot of testimonies because I've been through a lot. And so I can always pull from the testimony bag. And tonight I want to share, it's not going to be one of the near-death experiences that I've shared in the past, but I want to share um, the testimony of the scar on my hand. So persons know that there's a scar on my hand. And some person would have asked about it. And on Sunday, I was reminded of this testimony because we spoke about the, the promises of God and God protects his promises. So in 2014, 2015, while I was on campus, uh, I had a freak accident and a piece of glass door shattered. I was literally walking out um, through a door. Somebody had shut the door, the glass door. It was a little bit dark. I looked, I saw clear, thought the door was still open because I opened the door but somebody shut it behind me, I didn't know. I walked up, bounced on the glass door, it shattered a piece of the glass, sliced my hand. I was taken to the hospital. A couple of doctors came and looked at my hand and decided that they can't deal with it, that this was bigger than them. And so they kept on referring me to somebody else or calling another doctor to come and look at it. I spent the entire night in the hospital bleeding out and pretty much nobody attending to me until in the morning when they... I think the third doctor came and said, okay, I, I, I might can fix this. And his initial assessment was that the tendons in my hand were, 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 were severed, about two of them. And it appeared that though um, pieces of them had fallen out. And so that would be difficult to repair. And the tendons in your hands are what really allows the movement in your hand. Right? So without the tendons, you can't. You can't, you can't use your hand, right? So upon hearing that, of course, I was a little bit concerned. Um, and I remember just talking to God. And I remember God telling me that that hand will be used in the future to sign checks. And I, I got a peace from that because that is saying to me that everything is going to be all right. Right? Because if I can use the hand to sign checks, then everything's going to be all right. And long and short of it, um, they actually found the tendons so far pulled back in my hand. Right? It was cut, but it was, it was drawn all the way back. And they found it and pulled it up and tied them together again. And, you know, my hand is fine today. <laughs> Praise be to God. But it was not until a couple of years later that the testimony really hit me, or it hit me about the promises of God. While I was doing my job and executing my duties, somebody that reported to me came to me with a document for somebody's payment. And I was saying to him that this, this amount is too much. I'm not going to sign off on this. And he was explaining to me why it was justified. And it was while I was signing it, I remembered what God said to me. That in the future, that same hand will be used to sign check. So I give God thanks today that his promises are true. Amen. Bless the Lord, church. Bless the Lord. Um, as my sister came up and she was sharing about anniversaries, I actually remember that um, May is actually my spiritual birth month. Right? Um, many, many years ago, I know I look very young. Right? <laughs> but many, many years ago, actually f over 14 years ago, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, right? And five years ago, I would have received the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And so as my sister mentioned, anniversaries, all of those things came rushing back to my mind. And I just want to bless the Lord tonight, church, because the Word of God tells us who the Holy Spirit is to us. The Word of God tells us that he's a comforter, that he's a teacher, and I can testify that over my life as a Christian, being filled with the Holy Spirit, that he has been a keeper, he has been a comforter, he has been a teacher. I've never been completely alone. Even when there's no physical person beside me, I know that the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of me. And before I go back to my seat, I just want to share. So 
I'm a student at the University of the West Indies. I'm studying at the master's level. I study a master's degree in applied psychology. And recently, I'd have gotten my grades. And throughout the semester, I was very, like, very shaky. I was saying, Lord, oh my gosh, they work so hard. Oh, my God, manage. Right? And every Sunday when, I, when I've been able to come to church, I would have left encouraged to face another day and to face another week, knowing that the Lord would have been with me. Right, and I just want to bless the Lord and just testify that the, the lowest grade that I've gotten from all my grades is a B minus. Yeah. And I just have to give God thanks. Who could it be but God? Amen. So I just, con I just encourage us to continue to, to worship God in spirit and in truth and to continue to live for him. Amen, church? Yeah. Bless the Lord. Final testimony. Praise the Lord. Shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, last year this time, I would have received the infilling of the Holy Ghost. And when I really reflect on it, and the journey I have been on over the past year, I can only surmise it like this. Whilst I've been a Christian and I've understood salvation, in the past year, I've experienced a different relationship with God. I mean, at a point I thought I perhaps was going crazy. I'd go to bed and I've been sharing with some persons and I'll be seeing things in my home in Clarendon. And then when the Lord would have revealed the thing to me and I call mommy, mommy has shared me, share with me an exact same reality that she's facing. And I'm saying, this, this must be some kind of craziness. I remember walking on campus, going to work one day, and the Lord would have spoken to me on the spine going towards towards because I work at the hospital. And when the Lord spoke to me, it's like immediately the Lord said, call mommy. This is the second time it happened. And I remember I called mommy and I shared with her an experience. And she turned to me and said, how oh, you know that? He said, at the same time I, I had the thought, my father was going through something in the very house. And I said, this kind of relationship and walk I've had with God, no, it's just something else. And I remember leading up to the infilling, I'm one of those skeptics where I will research myself out of confusion. I'll get confused and research again until I'm straight. I remember while in the week, I, a friend and I were in our, so we leave there some late hours during Pentecost week last, last year. And I'll go back on campus, can't sleep, can't keep a straight thought in the Bible. And a friend come and check me one at night, and about one o'clock we did their study through. I try to understand what was happening. And to this day, <laughs> it was last Sunday in Sunday school, I managed to cough up what my summation was. And the response I got was, even at a point in our life's journey as Christians, there are some things we won't understand. And it moved me to my core that... I was feeling so tired over the past few weeks. And I knew and I know that this tiredness is not because I lack rest or I lack new trends. It's a tiredness that is coming from a different place. And I wasn't planning to come to this week. I, I haven't slept in and, you know, the Lord found ways to get me out and to get me to reflect on his word. And I can only attribute that to the work of the Holy Spirit. So if you're here tonight... And you're a skeptic much like myself. Research yourself into confusion and out. And probably back into confusion. Just be open to the move of the Holy Spirit. If you're sitting for a word of wisdom. Listen, the, the, the world that we're living in. He will use the very wise things to confound our understanding. So just be open to the work of the Holy Spirit. And see what he can do. In one year I've experienced a different life of Christianity than I have experienced all the time I've called myself Christian in one year. Imagine what the Lord can do for you. Amen. Hallelujah. As we continue to talk about the darling Holy Spirit who has come, the Comforter, can you just stand and we're just going to sing once, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here because if he has come, you know, 
if somebody come in your house, you know, tell them welcome. So we are just using this moment to just welcome the Holy Spirit alone. Immediately after, Brother Karim Bell will come with a special item. And then I'll invite our pastor to come and lead us in worshiping, giving. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come on, lift your hands. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Welcome him. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Last time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. In your the Lord Church hallelujah just keep the praise going up keep it going up I didn't get to give my testimony but from I get baptized in January at this church I said to myself church is not for man like me church was for something someone different hallelujah but I know that there's a blessing here for me. Hallelujah. I haven't been in church for a while. Because I realize whenever I say I'm coming to church, it's just like the workload turn up. It's like I have to work on Sunday right through the week. I mean, as a father, God, I want you to prepare some time for me for church. Hallelujah. Just keep the praise going. Just wave your hand. This song that I'm going to do, I want somebody to help me take this song. Somebody help me shout the name of Jesus tonight. Because by the name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. If you know the song, help me. For your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness. Can I let me do that verse again? Church, let me do that verse. I love you, Lord. Oh, oh. for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will say Of the goodness of God whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. And all my life you have been faithful if you know it, tell me sing this song. In all my life, you have been so good. 
with every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness. Second verse, I love your voice. Lord, I love your voice. Thank you, Jesus. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. Somebody can relate to that. Lord, I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. I am living in a good life. Somebody I'm missing all my life. Thank you, Jesus. In all my life, you have been, been faithful. When I'm going through my struggle, Lord. Of the goodness, your goodness is running after me. Yes, hey. your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Yeah. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my life played out, I surrender now. I give you everything. The morning before I got baptized, you remember the Sunday that I came here and before the new year began, Mr. God, I know, say, I'm going to try you still. Because when everything feel, imagine your friend, friend turn against you, family turn against you. You say, when everything feel, child Jesus. And from I get baptized, my sister, God, I turned everything in my life. Hallelujah. So I said, this is singing for me. This song is for me. Hallelujah. This part is for me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. When my life lay down, I surrender. I give you everything. Oh, yes. Your goodness is running after. Is it running after me? And the last verse said, All my life you have been faithful. When I could have been dead. And all my life you've been so, so good. With every Goodness. Just sing that part one more time. All my life, all my life, all my life, Jesus. And all my life you have been faith. When I feel like giving up, when I feel like giving up. Jesus, all my life you have been so. the goodness of God. Jesus, I will see of the goodness of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see of the goodness of God. Oh, I will see of the goodness of Somebody, would you lift your hands and give God a praise? If his goodness has been running after you, just give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite the ushers to come at this time. 
And we're about to give an offering to the Lord. As we give an offering tonight, we're giving because of the goodness of the Lord. We're giving to the Lord because the Lord has been good to us. And so as we give tonight, let's give with a grateful heart. And let us give to the one who is holy. The one who has given us everything. In particular, Jesus Christ, his son. And so, even now, I'm going to invite you to just bow your hearts with me as we just thank the Lord for this opportunity to give. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have brought us into, Lord, your place of worship. And God, we give to you our worship tonight. We raise our hands and our voices. We raise our hearts and our lives and we say thank you, Lord, for all you've given to us, people. So tonight, Lord, we say thank you for the opportunity to give into the kingdom. We do so, Lord, cheerfully and joyfully, recognizing that this is a grace that you have given to us. We thank you now for the gifts and the givers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to ask the technical team to put up on the screen the banking information for those of you who are online and those of you who are in the sanctuary. We are, you can give, the ushers are coming to you, you can give. I don't see the finance team at work, so I'm assuming they are saying everybody must give uh, in cash this evening. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's, let's go ahead and give. Worship team, will you come and lead us as we give to the Lord? Bless you. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Come on, put your hands together. Let the water and the blood from thy womb inside we flow. If you're standing on a solid rock and you know the power that you got, you can say Satan, you can't prevail. Satan, you can't prevail. If you're standing solid rock and you know the power that you got you can say Satan you can't prevail Satan you got to prevail praise the Lord praise the Lord everybody praise the Lord Before me and around me, said he's above below before me and around me. He's above below before me and around me. Jesus is Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Hallelujah. So just before the worship team comes back to lead us into uh, just a time of worship as we prepare for tonight's speaker, I just want to introduce tonight's speaker. want to say thanks to everyone who is here. So good to see you. Those of you who are online, we have just over a hundred persons who are online, uh, worshiping online, and those of you who are in the sanctuary, so good to have you. I want to just make special welcome to those, uh, to uh, 
group that I see somewhere down there in the back and they're hiding their face. Yeah, Papine, it's so nice to have Papine in the house. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah, so nice to have them in the house. Really appreciate you guys and so happy to see you. So tonight's speaker is not someone that is foreign to us. He is the discipleship um, unit director in the National Youth and Discipleship Department. He is uh, uh, an ordained bishop in the Church of God. Uh, he sits on the National Youth and Discipleship Board. He pastors and is the district overseer for the Mineralite Districts of District of Churches. He is a scholar. He is someone who is serious about the word and is someone who is saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. He is someone who is married to a wonderful young woman and they have two tremendous sons and is someone who has pastored numerous churches in the denomination and one of the denominations really and truly um, uh, young um, great speakers that we have in the church. His name is Bishop Stanley Ivey. One of these days, he, we're going to be saying uh, um, Bishop Dr. Stanley Ivey. But for now, he's just Bishop Ivey. And so, as soon as the worship team comes and ministers and, and lead us into a time of worship, we are going to stand, we're going to keep standing and make welcome Bishop Ivey as he comes to lead us uh, this evening as he shares the word of God with us. Last year, he was here with us, uh, and what a time we had as the Lord used him tremendously. Uh, we've been here since week, and uh, Bishop Wayne Wellington has done a marvelous job in just breaking the bread of life to us and what a time we would have had and we're grateful to God for what he is doing in this time and season amen so let's take the worship team let's worship the Lord and let us receive the word as he comes um is sister Andre here sister Andre is here where is sister Andrea no not here yet okay let us worship the Lord together Stand with us as we lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And our desire tonight is to be emptied so that God may fill us up. Amen. Let me say that again. Our desire tonight is for us to be emptied so that the Lord may fill us up. Hallelujah. So just sing with us. If you provide the fire. I'll provide the sacrifice. If you provide the spirit, then I will open up inside. If you provide the fire, And I'll provide a sacrifice. That's a promise. If you provide a spirit, then I will open up. Say, fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up.
Sing fill me up, fill me up Till I overflow I want to run and over I want to run over Fill me up, last time Fill me up Overflow Till I overflow Lord, you may be seated. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. God is indeed a good God, and we just want to praise Him. I just acknowledge the presence of the Lord as we worship together in this house. Hallelujah. Such a wonderful presence. Come on, give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Praise God and to say thanks again for the invitation to be here and I take it humbly and with a good spirit. I love this place. We have had so many wonderful times for some years. Amen. And the Lord privileged me last night to be in Walton Park with Dr. Samuels and some things going on the last night. God is good. God just took over the place. Amen. And we just thank God for that. That it is not based on any one person. The Lord just moved because the hearts of his people was ready. And we give God thanks. I want to greet your host pastor and bishop. Amen. Bishop Pinnock and his wife. Amen. I don't see the champions them. Uh, I don't go to my sight. <laughs> All right. So I greet them as well. I greet the officers and leaders at this church. I greet you. Amen. Moderator. Musicians, praise team, I greet you well. Watchers and viewers online, I greet you well. And those who would have been with me at Bible study tonight, but you have come on as we continue to study in a different fashion tonight. We welcome you to Escarpment Road, New Testament, Church of God. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. It's such a privilege to be here. And we just want to go a little further. But it's kind of a little challenging because this church is a good church. It's a good church because babies keep coming in. Praise God. 
Anytime you have a church when all the people in there are mature, you are in problem. Serious problem. Because you become barren and not giving birth. Praise God. I'm going to start preaching. But <laughs> yes, it's a serious point. That if you don't have new born, new believers coming in, you are going to be in problem. All right? So let me just remind you of some scriptures. And there are those who are with us for the first time. And there are those who have not yet experienced what we are trying to encounter tonight in God. And I'm so blessed to hear the testimonies that went forth. And your brother said, man, a new life. A new walk. That's what we are saying. A new kind of experience that you have never had before. And that is what we give God thanks for. First Corinthians 14. You heard Acts 2 already. So I'm just going to highlight some verses from 1 Corinthians 14. The comforter has come. Glory to God. It says, verse 2, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesied edifieth the church. I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied for greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret, that the church may receive edify. Let me just skip verse 6, and we go to 13. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret for if i pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prayeth but my understanding is unfruitful what is it then i will pray with the spirit and i will pray with the understanding also i will sing with the spirit and i will sing with the understanding also. And if you go to verse 16, it said, We can bless with the Spirit and we can give thanks with the Spirit, verse 17, and a number of other stuff that are in this chapter. This chapter is one of those precious chapters and spiritual matters, but it primarily focuses for some reason on tongues and prophecy. All right, let us pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for being here with us this week. We thank you, Lord God, that your comforter, your presence, oh God, is what we need. We ask and we say to you, God, if you provide your spirit, we provide the sacrifice. If you pour out your spirit, Lord, we will be that vessel. And so, God, we pray that let's self be slain right now. Lord God, we invite the Holy Ghost, we invite the Holy Spirit to take charge right now, Lord. Take charge in this atmosphere. Take charge, Almighty God, over the airwaves. Take charge of our lives. We give you the honor. Hallelujah. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. Anoint your people, Lord. Those who are coming for the first time to be anointed. We fill your people, oh God. We anoint your people, Lord, who have been anointed before. That the glory of God will be seen in the house of God for your name's sake and for your glory. We pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So we are going to go over the basics again. And I like to ask, how many of us are here and you are not yet filled with the Holy Spirit? How many of you are here? Praise God. Amen. I see about 
It, it would be nice to leave your seat and come up. Yes, I know you hear the testimony. God can do it right where you are. But we always ask you to do that for one main reason. Focus. Hello? Yes. For one main reason. Focus. Because while we are up here, I see God last year do something wrong, this so up so wrong so. And now when we done the service, and God change off, he start another service. We experience that. But I love to say to you, focus. Amen? Focus. That's all we are saying. Focus. So let's go. So we are reaching out to everyone. One, if you don't know Jesus, you can have this experience by accepting Christ as your Savior. So we are saying that the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, he is called the Comforter because he came to replace the function of Jesus in a literal way. Jesus says, I am leaving, but I will not leave you comfortless, but I will send the Holy Ghost to you. When I go, I will pray the Father and what? He will send you another comforter. In other words, I am with you right now. I can only be at one place at a time, but the Holy Ghost will be able to be in multiple places at the same time because he's not limited to time and space. That's why we are here tonight giving God praise and the glory of God is being poured out. You go to Waterloo Park, you go to any other congregation outside of Jamaica. Why? The Holy Ghost is God. Somebody said the Holy Ghost is what? Tune the mic up a little more. Praise God. He is God. So we have two main things I want to remind us of. When you come to Christ, you receive what is called the indwelling spirit. The what? Indwelling spirit. So there is no Christian. The Bible says, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is what? None of his. So those who repent and turn to Christ, you receive the Holy Spirit and we call that the indwelling spirit. So you are now identified as a part of the body of Christ. You are now identified as a true believer because the Holy Spirit now comes to reside in you. But when we call for Pentecost, we are not calling you to come back and receive the indwelling spirit. We are asking you to come and allow what God do and what we, we, we ask him to do is called the outpouring of the spirit. But the Bible says, in the last days, said God, I will what? Pour out my spirit upon what? All flesh. Come on, somebody. I'm coming to you. Because God is not partial. He's saying, in spite of the Old Testament experience, where it was the prophet, the priest, and the kings, and some people who had the Holy Spirit. But he said, in the New Testament, it will be your sons and your daughters. It will be old men and young men. It will be unto us who are far off, to as many as the Lord our God shall shall call. I'm going to trouble you as usual. I'm going to trouble you because too many of us, Pastor Bishop, who are part of Church of God, we say, you know what? I went, I'm going to a Holy Ghost fire church, a power church, but you have not gotten that Holy Ghost and power. Come on, somebody. I want you to be boastful. Yes, that you are part of a Holy Ghost church, but I want you to say, yes, I have had and I am walking in, come on, the experience Come on, talk to me, somebody. I am not only at a part of a church that have the experience and the power, but I have had it for myself. You know why? Nobody can do it and get it for you in spite of all we tell you it is good and it is lovely. Nothing beats that experience for yourself. Talk to me, somebody. We have had so many persons that have come and said, Pastor, in all my life, I am feeling so light that I can fly out of this place. You know why? When the Holy Ghost comes, the Bible said, He shall bring the, the power. He shall bring the present. And Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you. Come on. And learn of me. Anybody carrying a heavy yoke, and a God give it to you. Because it's my yoke, come on, is easy. And my burden light. Come on now. Hallelujah. So let me just run through a quick thing for you right now. We call it spirit assessment. It's a spiritual assessment. Come on, we're going to do a quick spiritual assessment. Ready? One, your spirit 
must be in a particular condition or a status in order for the Holy Spirit to flow properly. That's why the Bible says, oh, poor spirit. The Bible uses things like oil. The Bible uses things like fire and wine and water because these things kind of help us to visualize how the Holy Spirit works. So the Holy Spirit now, brother and sister, the first thing I want to say to you, your spirit can be defiled. So we, we have fixed the thing first. What we had a little while ago? Assessment. So if you come to God and your spirit is defiled by jealousy, envy, bad mind, those things defile your spirit. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. So before we launch out and ask God to do what we want him to do, we're going to say, Lord, if I have envy, jealousy, and all of those things that defile me, that the Bible says we must want, let our own spirit, soul, and body be preserved. What? Blameless. First Thessalonians 5, verse 23, verse 23 says, blameless all along until the coming of our Lord. So the spirit can be defiled. If you know your sin, I you know, repent. Sort it out. Uh oh. Sort it out. Fix it with the Lord. You know why? When you start to reach out, it's the first thing the devil is going to use because it is, a, it is a legal ground to accuse you. Come on, talk to me now. It's the what? A legal ground to accuse you. But when you go before the accuser and you say, you know what? I plead the blood of Jesus. Come on, talk to me, somebody. What is my plea? I plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, I have been guilty. I have fallen down. I've fallen short. But what do I plead? I plead the blood of Jesus. You know why? When the blood touches my sin, when the blood touches my life, I am going to be clean. What can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus ah number two your spirit can be oppressed your spirit can be in an oppressive state you come church but you're not really not no vibes you come church and say like all of the place seems so quiet you know, I said, boy, God, you know, I don't think it all go on tonight, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't me not, me not, me, me, me not feel, I don't really feel it. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't. <laughs> so, 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 your spirit can be saying that to you because you don't feel that you're at that place. But before we go further, that oppressing spirit, we're going to what? Rebuke it tonight. Say, in the name of Jesus, every oppression, every depression upon my spirit, I loose myself from your grip right now. I command my soul to be in alignment right now. Every oppressing, every spirit of heaviness, be gone. Come on, the Bible says, I, I remove the spirit of heaviness and give you a garment of praise. Come on, we cannot go into true worship carrying the weight. The Bible says, lay aside every weight. Come on, and the sin that so what easily be set up. And let us what? Run the race. So if you're feeling oppressed, you have to open your mouth and take a stand. Come on, talk to me somebody. Why? It is not of the Lord that you're feeling oppressed. It is not of the Lord that you feel like you are down in some valley. When you come before God, your spirit must be, no, your spirit must be light. Come on, oh, your spirit must be, your spirit must be light. Oh, glory to God. Because the God that we serve don't give us a spirit of heaviness. So your spirit must be what? Light. And number two, your spirit must be free. Glory to God. So you are not restricted by who I play song or who I sing song and you know get miserable because they don't sing the song where you want to sing. You know matter what song they want to sing. Why? You have come with the psalm and the hymns, the Bible says, and the spiritual song. You are already making melody in your heart. So, so when the praise team start to sing, they are really joining what I am having in my heart with the Lord. Come on, talk to me somebody. You must have that inward experience with God where you're not singing out sometimes but you have that song, you have that hymn, the Bible is making melody in your heart to the Lord. So you must what, be free. Glory to God. You must be light. Glory to God. And you must be flexible. 
You must be what? Flexible. So if the Holy Ghost is moving you into a particular dimension, you must be able to flow with him. The Holy Ghost is a what? Flow. And like water, you can block the flow. Tell somebody, let the flow take place. Why? You are going to flow from the spirit to your spirit to your soul and through your mouth. Don't muzzle the ox. When the Holy Ghost gives you that language of heaven, don't sit down and wonder which language is that? What does it mean? You don't know what you say in the Bible. Say, but in your spirit, you are speaking mystery. Tell somebody, the church of God is a mystery church. Come on, talk to me, somebody. The church of God is a what? Mystery church. Why? We have something that we flow in. We can't explain it fully to you, but the God that we serve say, you know what? If I get your tongue to use, I can use it to speak any language of men. I can use it to speak language of heaven. I can use it to rebuke demon. I can use it to rebuke principality. Just lend me that vocal cord. For the Bible said we don't know how to pray as we are to pray but the spirit himself come on talk to me with groaning that cannot be uttered because the spirit can pray through you oh glory to god i'm getting there i'm getting there so in the text before us quickly we want to highlight a few things that we are focusing on tonight we are not focusing on edification primarily for the entire church we answer pastor he said, he that speaketh in tongue edified himself. And he that prophesied edified the church. Because tongues is in a language the speaker no understand neither. Me know what me I do, but me no know what me I say. <laughs> Talk to me somebody. Me know what me I do, but me no know what me I say. So I understand the pathway, but until God give me an interpretation, I don't know what I'm saying, but I know what I'm doing stand still praise the name of the lord glory to god i know what i'm doing but i don't know what i'm saying so what happened now is that the spirit is doing and speaking but the understanding is unfruitful because god said there are some things i need to do in your life there are some curse i need to break in your life if i talk to you about them you're not gonna believe so let the holy ghost in you speak to me about them and me i gonna break them off your life because we're talking about mystery talk to me somebody when you don't pray say my god i wonder how me feel so free how me feel so light because sometimes you're under oppression and no know. Sometimes you're going through a cycle of attacks and I understand why the enemy are fighting. So why? Because the Bible said the weapons of our warfare. Come on now. They are not carnal, but they are mighty to God for the pulling down of what? Stronghold. Come on, talk to me now. Talk to me now. So when we come, we are here to edify ourselves. We are edify the church, you know, but the focus is don't expect prophecy right now. We are talking about allowing people to edify themselves by praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. So, I don't want anybody who visit this church and say, okay, they are speaking in languages I don't understand. Why? I'm not, I'm not the understanding time now. Talk to me, somebody. I'm not the understanding time now. Come on, somebody. If you're coming to this church for any amount of time, you must understand, say, when we are speaking tongue, there's a segment for that. And Pentecost and tarrying service is that kind of a service where nobody can ask me where I'm in, I say. Because the Bible says, he that speak it in tongues, don't speak to men, but to God. So if you don't want me to speak in tongues beside you, you are free to leave because I don't really I talk to you right now. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm talking to God. Talk to me somebody. Because the spirit of the Lord will move in your life. And guess what? You will begin to talk some language. And when you finish, sometimes the Holy Ghost gives you the interpretation. Sometimes you try to figure out something and you can't get it. Education with the anointing is a number one recipe for success. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Sometimes when you study the book and the book and the answer now come, put your hand on the book and say, Man, da ba 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 sha te 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 la ba sha ta. Begin to pray in tongues and make the Holy Ghost unlock it for you. So what? We are what? 
edifying ourselves. For he that speaketh in tongue and non tongue edified, verse 4, himself. But he that prophesy edify the church. I am edifying the church now. But when we come to the altar, not necessarily I going to edify everybody. We are focused on a particular aspect of the service. So we want people for what? Understand what we are saying. Amen? So I'm not speaking in tongues to you now because if I do, Paul says it don't make no sense. Come on now. Next point. It is to exercise your spirit in prayer. It is to exercise your spirit in praise. It is to exercise your spirit in blessing. It is to exercise your spirit even in singing. Every praise and worship leader should be able to tap into singing in tongues. Oh, church, get quiet. Church, get quiet. Church, get quiet. Because the Bible says, I will sing with my spirit or the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding. Everybody can sing with the understanding, but those who lead praise and worship, you want God to touch you. That when, them are, when you are worship God, they start to hear one of the long, and they say, hold on, I go on. You know why? I go into another realm. I went into another plane. Come on. I am going higher height. Somebody say, I'm deeper depth. I am going further and further. Why? It doesn't matter how much anointing you are last year, last week, yesterday, there is still more. Tell somebody there is still more. Watch this now. So I want to show you it quickly. We could have done what is called an illustrative sermon. But we don't have the time for that tonight, just yet. This is the flow. Holy Spirit, human spirit, the soul then the body. Follow me now. Should I go again? Watch the flow. Watch the order. The Holy Spirit, the human spirit, the soul, then the body. So when we start to worship, the words that are coming out of our mouth, they are going to be coming from one of two realms. When you say, Lord, I bless you, I glorify you, I magnify you, that language, those words are coming from the soul realm. Because they are words you understand. Am I making sense? But when you speak in tongues, it is the Holy Spirit within your spirit give you those words to speak. So when I call your foot, I don't want you to speak those words in your mind. Oh, praise God. I don't want you to speak in tongues in your mind and say, if, if the Lord wants me to be filled, he will just No, no. Acts chapter 2 verse 4, it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. That is in the passive voice because it is the Holy Ghost that fills. It is the Holy Ghost that baptized us. Jesus Christ baptized you. You have to apply yourself to that. But it said, and they began to speak. To speak is in the active voice. So sometimes people sit down and uh, uh, wait for the Holy Ghost to make you speak. Sometimes he does it. I may not know if he might do it for you. So let me tell you. Don't shut your mouth when the Holy Ghost sometimes, it happens to me all the time. You yeah, worship God and you yeah, praise God and the power begins to come up. And when it comes near, it's like, <gasps> I don't look to your left. Look to your right. I say, calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. Come on. And then you go again. And when it starts to come up, you say, oh, I hit that door. Me not sure. Me not sure. Calm down. Stop quenching the spirit. It is called quenching the spirit. And you stop for five minutes. I say, hold on. Let it, let it cool down. No, no, no. When you ask God for the thing and him start to do it, stop in the him. Press your way forward. Press your way forward. Whatever word him give you, whatever language him give you, whether it's a word or a phrase or a number of words, speak them out of your mouth and let the Holy Ghost flow out of your spirit because you cannot fathom God nor understand God in the human sense of the word. God is bigger than us. He will use the things that men say don't make sense. Because him said it must be by obedience. 
Amen, church? No. The spirit realm gives us joy, peace, and so on. But the spirit realm is not led by feelings. So let's go now. This is where Pentecostal chip up. We are tied to the feelings in so much ways that if it not come according to all the brother testify saying get it. Yes. You receive and say boy I'm going to think I eat because they mean say one big light I got come over here because when they are sorry them, them see one big light and me trust me brethren. Me are tired before, I mean, me, 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 me see this big light, I'm saying, yes, I hit this. But me never realized I was turning to the bulb. Come on, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> Glory to God. I thought that was it. And there was only a time then, say, my God, when the Holy Ghost hit me, I was so cool. But I never knew, say, it was the fun me then here. But I thought it was the Holy Ghost. I said, yes, yes, yes. It was the fun. It was the bulb. <laughs> All of them things happened to me now. So I don't want you to sit down and wait for one light for your ears. Some people testify about it. They say, well, you know, sometimes one light far out and the light get brighter and brighter. You know, more see no light. When we share our testimony, we're not sharing it like a, a pattern. For you. Some of us get the power, we drop, we roll, some just sit down nice and spicy and nice and just magnify the Lord and just get that. And they are added up us because it's kind of hard sometimes. The Holy Ghost says, Get up, man. Move up, man. We... Come on, because some of us are telling the Holy Ghost, Me now, go down. Talk to me, man. You, 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 need, to be, you need to be in the, the old time church where they have red work. Come on, the old time church have red work floor. And when you go down upon that and, and shine it, you come up giving praise. Come on, talk to me. Some of you don't know me I talk about, you know. But when you have also, you have the, the, the red work, and we used to have the coat guy that brush. The coat, and as children, we normally have a cloth, we just sit down upon it and draw through the house and shine, we are shine. But no matter how you go down upon them, you have You're coming up nice, see me. Come on, talk. So nobody no need for what? Worry. And one of the reasons why we call you for because while you're worshiping God, sometime before you get filled, you experience deliverance. Yes. Sometimes demons that you never know warned us so start to manifest. Remember when Paul, when he was bitten by that, that, when he was making that fire, he never knew the serpent was in there until he cast the sticks in the fire. So when you start to have the fire of God, some things that you never know that they can manifest and we are here to help you get deliverance, then fill. Am I making sense? Hallelujah. So Paul said, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit is praying. Who for spirit? My spirit. Who have control over my spirit? Me. The spirit, the spirits of the prophets. See, I'm Corinthians 14. Are subjected to the prophet. Not the Holy Ghost. If it was the Holy Ghost, it would be the spirit singular of the prophets. But he said the spirits of the prophets, because it is what? Plural referring to the individual prophets. So you have control over your spirit. So when the Holy Ghost come upon you, sometimes are you just out the fire by saying, me not understand that. Please, when the Holy Ghost give you a language, when he give you a language, don't say, God, me hear somebody speak the one there already. Put that one back in the bag and jaw another one. Come on, come on. I, I, don't ha I don't know any mother who is embarrassed to say to his or her son or daughter, mama, mama, mama. Say mama, mama. Say da, 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 da. Any mother? Oh, no, look for me so funny. There's no mother who have a problem to say, dad, say da, da, mama, mama. And when they say mama, say, yay, glory to God. Sister, to talk. 
When you come to God as a child of God, you're a babe. So if you start to pray in tongues, say, Mama, 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 Mama. Go, Mama, Mama. Tell him, say, da, 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 da. Get what you have and say, Mama, Mama, Mama. Take what you get. Or if you just start and want to speak like, like, like you know the language like from, from university. Eh? Or, or you want to just start talk and know all of the grammar. You can't just want to get filled and speak smoky. Come on, talk to me. Oh, Lord. You know, speak is smoky. You know, sometimes people get filled and the way this, the tongue so nice, it just feel nice. Yeah, some of us, the tongue so nice. And some of us say, my God, when I want to come from Japan, I don't have China. It no matter. When the Holy Ghost give it to you, receive it. Nobody tell him carry it back. And give me one where nobody no know. I hear before. Don't dictate to God that way. Because each tongue is a particular level in the spirit that God will start you at. And I'm saying to those who receive already, the ones that you receive with, you should have grown out that long time. Church quiet. You should be praying and reaching out. And all of a sudden you hear some language and all that. I, I don't know another one. Yes, because you step into another dimension. You step into another realm in the spirit. Why? The spirit must God carry you from level to level. Carry you from height to height. Why? You must grow in the Holy Ghost. So those who get it last year and the year before. And say, yeah man, I receive it. You can lose the infinite. That's why people who were filled backslide. Because the feeling gone. You cannot be filled and backslide at the same time. You can't walk in, in the feeling. And at the same time being filled, you backslide. No. You have to lose the feeling first. Then the backsliding take after. And backsliding is gradual. That's another, start, another story. So watch me now. So when I call, I say, come to the altar. The reason why I can't say to you, say after me. Because I know me, I give the words. I, I, know, you, I know you hear some, you see some people. Say after me. No, we don't say after me. We allow the Holy Spirit and we say to you, listen, come on, listen. The words will be in your spirit and it come right up into your mind. And then now because we're intellectual, we are going to study it out until we're confused and study it till we get back the real thing. My eyes closed, praise the Lord. <laughs> when the Holy Ghost give it to you, all he's saying, use it, speak it and allow me now to know you are not going by feeling, you are going by faith. And most people, they say, Pastor, we never know such a it's easy. It's not hard if you understand. That's why I try to teach first and not just preach. Teach you that before you even walk up here, you can just hope in your spirit and just take what God gives to you. God wants to fill you more than you want him to. He wants to endure you with power more than you want him to. You know why? He calls us and says, you know what? The same way Jesus walked in power, he wants us to walk in power. I could give you some verses that the Lord gave me, but me not, me not reach there yet. So me just go and leave it. You know what I said, Bishop? Me not reach there yet. So the Bible said, I want to be filled with all the fullness of God. I said, whoa, what do you mean? You can be filled, Paul said, with all the fullness of God. In other words, God can fill you in such a way as if you are another incarnate Jesus. Because the spirit incarnate in Christ filled him up with so much power as a man. And God said, the same way I fill my son with the power. If we find people yielded enough, he can do the same with us. I don't reach there yet. Because sometimes people, people only believe, say, oh, the preacher reached. No, I don't reach it. I have a far way to go. But at least the Holy Spirit prompt me. And I said, God, are we there? And I'm walking with him. 
So when you come, the Holy Ghost, what? Will give you that language in your spirit. It will come up into your thought. Why? What is thoughts? Let me help you with that one day. How does God speak to you? Spirits speak through thoughts. Let me say it again. Spirits speak through thoughts. That is why you have to take every thought captive. So that you pass it through the word to make sure so it align. Every thought captive. So the Holy Ghost will give the thought to you. And you must now take it because you know him give it to you. When you hear one voice, I come and say, Boy, what if I know the Holy Ghost said, devil, me know you this time. So guess what? Me now listen to you. You see, you have to use your sense to you. Know. So if I was about to speak the wrong language, why would the devil want to stop me? Think about it. If I'm about to speak the wrong language, why would the devil want to stop me? He only come to stop me because he knows what I'm about to get is of the heavenly fall. So he's trying to trick me back into reason and to bring me back into logic. But guess what? Reasoning and logic cannot carry the power of God. You have to have faith. The just shall live by faith. So after you move by faith, Feelings will come, joy will come. But if you sit down and try to wait for feelings and joy, the enemy makes money just say something to you where they shouldn't say, and you're vexed for the rest of the evening, and you just call it off till tomorrow. The devil makes some one bad news come on your phone, and when you look on it, you just get depressed right away. Why? You have to guard your mindset, you have to guard your thought pattern because the enemy is going to try to distract your mind, you're going to try to distract your spirit. Because when you come, the Bible says, When you seek him, you must pray and seek him in spirit and in truth and with your whole heart. It means that while you are praying, don't let your mind go to your yard and go down to the gully and where you are going iron for where you are make them stay with them there and you don't have no money for send the picnic there, make that stay with there and you don't know how you are going to manage for the rest of the week, make it stay with there and boy, the research paper not done yet, make it stay with there and the report for the, oh my God, the boss are going to string me up and we have a meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning. No, make them they stay with them there, right? Now, shut the window of time and say, you know what? This is the day. This is the hour of the window of anointing. I'm mean, going to want the window closed. I'm mean, going to get to me. You know, the devil is so smart. He makes you sit on that church and worry about things that you can't deal with after church. And when you miss the time in church and church lock, you have to wait till tomorrow or never. So me learn this. When we come to church, me I lock out everything as to tap into the window. This service is a realm. It's a window. And it is not going to be open forever. We are going to over the service and we are going to lock up. So while I distract you, make it stay right there. Sometimes the enemy come and say, did you plug out the iron? Did you lock off the stove? Me say in the name of Jesus Christ, me, if you plug in and not plug in right you now, me can't steer you so I'm plugging out. So before you worship God, you sit down. Did I t- plug out the iron? Lord Jesus Christ, I want to let the place by catch a fire. Yeah, my mama, mama, shatter. And before you say who is here, I service over. Me gone because me, 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 me not plug out the iron. Destruction. Take every thought captive. May I worship God right now? May I praise God right now? And anything that is taking me away from that is not welcome. I'm telling you, you know. And when the enemy reminds you of something that you did and you confess it already and you make it up with God, say, never go on about your business. Go on about your business. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ, whom the Son set free is free indeed. And a part of the reasons why the enemy does it is because sometimes God forgives we and we don't forgive ourselves. I do things already now. I say, you see, all you, you're not eating for the next two days. You know? 
You not nah eat for the next two days. Can I ever do that? Can I ever say that? Yo! And you're upset with yourself. And when God said, left it, no man, move on. You still vex. Because if I'm not, it, it, you know, sometimes because we wouldn't forgive people. And so we think God will treat me. So we don't receive forgiveness for ourselves. And we don't forgive ourselves because, my God, God must have me up. No, he not have you up. Whom the Son set free. We're going to come to this altar now. Praise team is going to lead us. We're going to make some declarations. And I'm saying this again. If you don't plan to open your mouth, no can waste your time. We don't want a scoop, scoop prayer. Reese about I'm not saying to be filled, you have to be on top of your voice. We're not saying that. But Bishop Pinnock standing beside them must be able to hear what you say. And the day of Pentecost, the people them outside heard them speaking in tongues. We're not saying you have a shout, but the person beside you to be a witness. Need to be able to hear what you are saying. And you yourself need to hear what you are saying. Because we what? We, we need to be a witness to say, yes, me here. Making sense? So I don't mean, want you to come at the altar and shut your mouth and I look around. So. The next thing I don't want you to do. If you start to sing with the praise team, left them alone. And stop sing. Like we call it, if you sing with them. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes people come and they must sing with the praise team. One song of, no, I'm not calling if it's all about sing with them. They are singing to help you focus and, and, and get the atmosphere right. But you're not supposed to have followed them in the song. Your thing is to concentrate on him. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on him and worship him. So while they are singing, no problem. But your job is to say, Lord, I'm coming up. Lord, I'm drawing near to you. Lord, I pray. Sometimes the Holy Ghost give you a song, no problem. Do what he give you, but don't sit down and wait for the song them from the praise team. Worship God. So nobody be too quiet. Nobody sit down and nobody stand up and follow the praise team because we don't really call you up here for that. They are going to help us, but focus. The next thing, we say, if the enemy are, are, are give you a problem with anything you did or said, confess it to the Lord and just come. The next thing you must remember, we don't deserve this gift. So we don't receive it because this one is living holier than that one there. No, it's a gift. Holiness of life is important. But don't believe that it's people who are perfect receive. No. Somebody can walk out of hell and the devil workshop, say yes to Jesus and get filled the same night. And you will live for years and live so nice and watch your P's and Q's. Sit down your son and get nothing. I mean, one, you know, much years me I see come and say, people come out. I say, my God, I had, I say, God, I had them there. I say, God, something right on you. Because what? Me did there for years. I cheek to live my life right. And people, when I live so right, then just come and then gone left me. It's not because they deserve it. It's because their, their spirit was more open to what God was doing than mine. Come on to the altar, please. Praise team. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. Come on, quick. We're not spinning all night. Open the, the window is open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, quickly. You have won. Alter records. Alter records. Join here. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are, you are. Come on, please. You are the risen King. 
make some decorations. Relax, 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 relax. You are here not to beg, but to receive. Relax. You are here not to beg, but to receive. How do you receive? As the Holy Spirit in your spirit prompts you. Give you that language that you don't know. To receive me, you're going to speak it out of your mouth. That's all you need to do. And let the Holy Ghost take it from there. I am convinced even while you walk to this altar, a lot of you already sense it, already know it, are speaking tongues in your mind. Open your mouth and speak that language that God gives you and free up yourself. We're going to pray right now. I'm going to pray for you, then we go ahead with the song. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every doubt. I come against every fear. I come against every thought that comes against their mind from the adversary, from the enemy. Lord, I pray that their mind be bound to your mind, their will to your will, God. We pray in the name of Jesus that by your hand, by your spirit within them, Lord God, bless them, God. Let out of their belly, the spirit's belly in them, flow rivers, rivers, rivers of living water. Baptize them with the Holy Ghost and with fire, Lord. Baptize them with power. Baptize them with your peace. Baptize them with your joy in Jesus name amen sing on sing on those of you who are filled those of you who are filled pray the Holy Ghost Rabo Bosanda da 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 La la ba sa da la la ba sa da la ba 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 la ba ba ko se ke da la ba sa da la ba 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 in the name of Jesus, Ramanda da 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 basata, ribo bo 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 kasata. Out of your belly, come on, use your spirit, use your spirit. Yondo no bo basata, use your spirit. Yondo no 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 bo sekete tele basata. Speak the Holy Ghost language right now, right now, right now. Yondo no 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 bo basata da da basata. Yondo no 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 bo sekete da da basata. Yondo no 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 bo sekete tele basata.
nothing. With holy nothing. With holy nothing. With holy nothing. Jesus. Give hey. myself da, 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 da. away hey. so hey. you hey. can da, 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 use me. Da, 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 da. Give myself away. Da, 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 da. I give myself away so you can use me. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. With holy nothing. Yeah. 
Search all over, couldn't find nobody. 
like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. No, there's no God like Jehovah. 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 No, there's no God like Jehovah. 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 Let there be a worship. No God like Jehovah. Somebody let there be a worship. Let there be a worship in this place. 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 Oh God, we want a worship. Let there be a sound of 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 worship. There's no God. Let there be a sound of worship. Somebody lift up a praise. Somebody lift up a praise. Somebody raise up a worship. Set the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Out of your belly. Out of your belly, out of your belly, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive, receive, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly.
Come on, just for a moment. Will you just lift up a sound of praise in this place? Somebody would you just just raise your voices? Somebody would you just just raise your voices in this place? Somebody would you just raise up a sound of praise? Somebody would you just open your mouth? Will you just saturate the atmosphere with worship in this place tonight? Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord, in all the earth. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we praise your name. Holy Spirit, rain down tonight. Rain down tonight, Holy Spirit. Comforter and friend. We need your touch again. Rain down. Lift up our worship. Lift up our worship. Lift up our worship. Raise up our worship in this sanctuary. Somebody give him praise. Somebody open up your mouth. Somebody give him praise. Somebody set the atmosphere alive with worship. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Yes, God. We are in your presence. We bow down and we worship you, Yahweh. Jesus, 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 Holy Spirit. Masho, Masho, worship, worship him, worship him, worship him. He's worthy, he's worthy. La da basete, la cochete. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. We set the atmosphere, we set the atmosphere. Mashike debe, shato la basatai, yanda koshitiosa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive, 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 receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Ah, yeah. I hear a sound of worship. 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 Set the atmosphere right. I hear a sound. I hear a sound. I hear a sound. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Receive, 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 receive the Holy Ghost, receive the Holy Ghost, receive out of your belly. Out of your 
your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly, rivers, 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 out of your belly. Ma coquette, mouguru sutudu de vos sacanabasatai, out of your belly.
intend, intend, lose me now. Lend me a tongue now. Lend me a tongue now and speak the word of the now. If I one word speak it, oh. if I two words speak it, I'm gonna try to be Not yet. Don't sing yet. There's still a worship in this place. I said there's still a worship in this place. We have a worshiping church in here tonight. This is not a spectating church. This is a worshiping church. With back in every spirit. I said we go worship tonight in Jesus' name. We're raising our hands. We're raising our voice. We're declaring that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. We declare it that there is no God like Jehovah. We declare tonight that the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. We declare that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We declare liberty tonight. We declare liberty to be set free. Liberty to be filled. Liberty to be delivered. Liberty in Jesus' name. We call forth. We call forth the worship in you. 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 We said there is a worship in the house. This is the Liberty Hall. We were made to make God's praise. Glorious. We worship you tonight, Jesus. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is no one like you in our world. So we worship you, Lord. We clap our hands. We stand our feet. We dance in the spirit. Lord, come on, shake you. Come on. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. See where they see that. Do the language and give you. In the spirit. I am a baba basha. Release the worship inside here. Release the worship inside here. In the name of Jesus, loose now. Lama Sanda, every oppression spirit, loose now. Lama Lama Basha, ta 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 Lama Hai. We break you now. We break your power. Fire! 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 Fire!
Yes! Release the worship! Release the worship! Release the worship! Lord of Ocean Dosa! Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. La la ba ka ta 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 ta. Yes. Go stop. Go stop. Go stop. Go stop. Use the language. Yes. Use the language. Yes. Yeah. 
speak the language of the Holy Ghost here. Aya mande keta ya basie la la bakite. Come on. Every time we come to church, I may get some new language. Come on. Come on. Come on. Language of heaven. La la bakite. La la bakite. La 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 bakite. La la bakite. La 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 ba si te te le be si kondo do ba shata. La la ba ki te le be si kondo do ba shata. La 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 ba ki to do ba she ke te. Le le me ki to ra ba 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 ba. Li manda kata la ba si te te. Li bo ko she ke ta la ba. Le me ke tu ra ba ba ba. You can rest, you can rest. You can rest. She received man, you can rest. Yeah man, see him yourself. O- open your eye and worship. Yes, see him yourself. La man da kute ke. Yeah, talk to God, man. No man not understand you. Talk to God. Not even you not understand what you are saying. Talk to your father. Everybody, would you close spirit your eyes? Spirit. Close your eyes. Spirit to spirit. Hey. Spirit to spirit. Everybody close your eyes. Just begin to pray. Right Just begin to pray for somebody at the altar. Come on. Just begin to pray for somebody at the altar. Come on. Pray, 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 pray. Come on. Pray for somebody who's tired. Pray for somebody who's tired. Pray, 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 pray. Come on. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come against every blockade. We come against every barrier. We pull down every stronghold. In the name of Jesus. We render you powerless. We declare that there's a spirit of worship in this place. We declare that no weapon formed against God's people shall prosper. We come against every spirit of condemnation. We come against every spirit of condemnation. We come against every spirit of fear. We bind every spirit of doubt. We cast you out in Jesus' name. We declare liberty in this place. 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 We declare that there is freedom. We declare that there is freedom. We declare that there is a shift. We declare that there is a shift. If it's not you, Lord, then Lord, it's nothing. It's got to be you, Lord. It's got to be you, Lord. It's got to be you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. in the house tonight. Tune out and tune in. I'm telling you. If you follow what we are saying to you, there is no ifs and buts. You receive. If you just follow, lend the Holy Ghost that tongue, man. The language we give you. Don't try to understand it. Just speak it. Just speak it. And let the Holy Ghost flow through you. Hey! Hallelujah. We'll be coming back tomorrow night, God's willing. Aya basi keta da basi kanda da basata. La la basi keta da basata. Hey!
as you receive you speak you get the word you speak it out you get the unction you speak it out don't watch how you feel speak it out don't watch how you feel it's by faith speak it out and you will begin to feel the change in your atmosphere the change in your spirit the change hallelujah praise God watch your life change in Jesus name Bishop is going to come now and there are quite a few of us who have received tonight we're going to rejoice with you and to say to those who are still right there keep going and we invite you about God's willing tomorrow night as you go home you can receive as you sleep you can receive tomorrow during the day God's willing you can receive there is no limitation of space just keep an open spirit hallelujah over to you bishop in jesus name come on church in jesus name somebody would you just raise your hands and give god a praise in this place hallelujah come on clap your hands all ye people shout unto God with a voice of triumph hallelujah 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 hear me tonight we're gonna be back here tomorrow evening at 7 and we're going to receive we're going to receive from the Father in Jesus name when you go home tonight again take some time and be in prayer tomorrow throughout the day talk to the Lord about Thursday night and as you come come with a spirit of expectancy we are believing the Lord for another move of the Spirit. Hallelujah. All of those who are baptized in the Holy Ghost, would you come up here now? I want to see those who would have received the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Come. 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 Step up here, step up here, step up here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come, come, come. Hallelujah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Just the persons who would have heard these persons speak, just stand, just stand beside them. How you doing, my brother? All right. We're going to pray for you. Is that okay? We're going to believe God for you. Is there something particularly you want us to pray for? Hmm? Is there something particular you want us to pray for? You good? Is it okay if I pray for you?
Lord you set captives free you break chains you bring deliverance and we are witnesses of that reality tonight in the name of Jesus we declare deliverance over your son Lord we break the spirit of addiction of alcoholism Lord God we declare even now in Jesus name that he is set free God from everything that binds him we command them now to let him loose to set him free in Jesus name you are Daniel's God you are our God and you deliver so even now in Jesus name we declare freedom we declare deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we command you to go your way and sin no more we declare that from this moment on you shall never be the same again in Jesus name church say amen church say amen one more time declare amen in the spirit all of you come down here all of you yeah all of you you're in the spirit you're in the spirit come come I need some men to lay hands on them where are the other worshipers the other men Jesus Come on, begin to pray for them. Come. Come, begin to pray for them. 
Come. Come on, begin to pray for our musicians and the worship team. Come on, come on, begin to pray. Just begin to cover them, begin to cover them, begin to cover them, begin to cover them. In the name of Jesus, we cover you. We cover you, we cover you, we cover you, we cover you, we cover you. We cover you in Jesus' name. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We put up fence around you. Yes, 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 yes. We put up fence around you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, we build edge of protections around you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. 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 Come on, church, clap your hands. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. Let me see the, let me see all those who got filled. Just step back onto the platform. Just step back onto the platform. Those of you who got filled. How many persons got filled? Just raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, church. Come on, church, clap your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Tomorrow evening, we're going to be right back here. Remember, tonight you pray for tomorrow. Tomorrow, as you go throughout the day, you pray for the evening service and as you come remember what the preacher says come with a spirit of expectancy so come expecting that the spirit is going to be poured out amen amen, amen church amen. Amen. amen hallelujah so father even now we kneel before your throne and we declare that you are sovereign lord and no one is like you we thank you, Lord God, for the promise of the Father. We thank you for the outpouring of the Spirit tonight on your people. Lord, there are still those, oh God, who are waiting on you. Even now, we declare that their wait, oh God, will not be long. But that God, you will continue to speak to them in Jesus name Lord as we go one from the other we go oh God in the power of the spirit we go oh God declaring that you are with us every step of the way and that God we will get home safely that we will have a good night's rest and that God's willing will be back here tomorrow evening as we worship together and wait on you. And so now, unto the King Eternal, the King Immortal, the only wise and invisible God, be majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church one more time say amen. amen. Hallelujah. So just before we go, remember that there are books. One from our presenter that is here. You can purchase a book. We also have books that we have produced here at church um, with our theme entitled The Comforter Has Come uh, with devotionals 
and works and person of the spirit please do not allow Pentecost to end and you don't purchase a material I've been saying it since Sunday invest in your spirituality amen invest in your spirituality invest in your faith and one thousand six hundred dollars trust me is minimal minimal to invest in your faith and Bishop Ivy has a, a book over there let me have one of them yes the believers spiritual manual these have been out already we have them still in stock please invest in your faith especially our young converts our new believers ensure trust me you cannot have too many of these amen amen how much is this rev one thousand for um the spiritual manual amen you see before we leave here So remember also that we meet at 6.30 p.m. to pray as we prepare for the evening service. Amen? Now, there are some people who are online. 156 were online. Come out tomorrow night. Come off of the line. Unless they are foreign. Come off of the line. And uh, would you bring somebody out tomorrow? So... If you know the other we have multiple other young converts we have multiple other young converts call them up and tell them that they need to be out tomorrow night amen as we come out and worship the Lord together Papine God bless you guys we love you so good to have you tonight greet somebody as you go and remember that if you need to assist somebody to get home then please do so. God's blessings on you all. And we'll see you tomorrow evening. God bless you.